Gina, thank you. It is expected to be a big day at the state capitol in just four hours from now. Arizona lawmakers will debate Governor Doug Ducey's state budget. Yeah, and one of the big issues, how much money will go to education? Kylie Cruz joins us in the newsroom with more on what is at stake. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Arizona, and good morning to you, Scott and Olivia, and everybody else at home. Obviously, the big question this morning is how will the state spend $9.8 billion of your tax dollars? Obviously, that is what lawmakers are going to be deciding today, and here are some of the issues that they are going to be uh, breaking down. Funding for MCSO and slashing funding there and Planned Parenthood as well as a lot's at stake when it comes to education. Now the proposed budget would strip roughly $1.6 million from the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. The money would actually have been used for a task force that cracks down on gang activity. Planned Parenthood of Arizona says the budget would slash about $2 million in federal funding doled out by the state. They said it could jeopardize health centers in Phoenix, Mesa, Flagstaff and Tucson. The current budget also gives schools roughly $69 million for new construction and another $17 million for maintenance. It also includes a budget for uh, a small raise for teachers, but both Democrats and some Republicans say that raise, well, it's not enough. None of this as a single thing will solve anything. It's going to take school districts like mine who prioritize raises for teachers. What we're seeing right now is uh, uh, the not the investment that we thought we would have in K-12 education. Our community is asking for 4% teacher raises. What we actually see in this uh, budget is only a 1% raise. Now to clarify that there, the budget actually calls for a 2% raise over two years, and it would also include about $1 billion for ASU, U of A, and NAU. The schools would be able to borrow that money for maintenance and new buildings. Lawmakers are expected to get at it about 10 this morning, so of course we'll keep you posted on any developments.